Hello friends, welcome to my channel Piping Engineering 3D. In today's session, we will create the pump suction line. As in the previous video, we have uh, we were not be able to add the strainer because it was not available for the certain spec. So we will again try to uh, add this strainer and we will try to create this line. Just get it to the PDMS and uh, just first of all you have to create the zone zone for pipes type new zone create the zone now give, give this zone a name that is pipe zero one now again create the new pipe the type new pipe now we will check the pipe spec we have not given it we, we will give the a3b spec as it is as the strainer is available for this spec so simply type this now we have to set the we will again have to create the new branch now again we will check the pipe spec yeah it is a3b now for this current element the head will be this nozzle of the tank and the tail will be nozzle of this suction suction nozzle of the pump as the flow is coming from the tank to and going it, it to the suction of this nozzle now we have said the head and tail again we will now go to pipe work now create the component simply create the gasket in a forward direction for the a3b spec simply apply create as it is asking for the 100 ml spool this is because the rating if you check the the rating of this gasket is 300 and if you check the rating of this nozzle you get rip is 150 and uh, this is the difference due to which the spool for this gasket is coming but we do not require that and we should have to overcome on this problem due to the spec differences this this is generally happen now we will just force connect this and again we will now create the flange in the forward direction we'll use the weld neck flange Now, just stay on the branch. In the PNID, we will try to create this size, 4 inch size pipe. And there is one drain here of 3 by 4. We will try to create from the backward direction. So, we will just create the backward in a backward direction create the gasket first again it is asking for the spool but we don't require that we force connect this we will create the flange the next flange we will check the parameters for this it is of the 80 NB size due to the difference in the rating this is not properly connected and it is showing the difference in the sizes but if you check the bore of this nozzle it is of the same 80 NB 
we will try to reselect and take the different range again it is it is showing the difference okay now we will try to create the drain for this we will create the OLED we will create the OLED in a backward direction it is of the size 3 by 4 3 by 4 inch and then it would be around 20 and we will create this you have to maintain a spool and between the nozzle and the reducer so for doing this first of all we will give the spool of 100 mb 100 mm to this it is not sufficient we will add 200 of spool before that we have to add the reducer for doing this we will in a backward direction click the reducer as the line size is of 100 we will add the eccentric upside flat side up reducer so for doing this we will simply rotate this by 180 and we will give this pull to zero now we have to maintain certain spool and that is of 3d 3d spool we should maintain 3d means 3 times the diameter of this pipe that is of 300 so we should give the 300 spool now in the backward direction we have to create the OLED for the drain it is of 20 and besides we will give this spool of 100 and we will rotate it by 180 now we will create the flange flange well neck flange I can give this spool 100 now for doing the support for this uh, strainer as the as next to this drain there is a strainer we should add certain spool spacing for that uh, purpose we require 200 of the spool for for supporting this strainer and the next wall we require uh, we require certain sp uh, space between this OLED and this uh, strainer now again create the gasket now we will create the filter Y type strainer is there now if you now you can directly connect uh, this to the wall so simply create the gasket then again create the wall ball wall now create the gasket again the flange should be added as this is the weld neck flange we will choose this again now we have to create the elbow 90 degree just rotate it by 180 again 90 now throw next type throw next see the line is connected next to this flange connection now again we have to create the drain for doing this 
we should have to create the branch like new branch by simply typing this you can create the branch now set the head head to the bullet apply now under this as it is over 20 of size you can directly connect the wall available wall the speak is unidentified here for this branch we will type q p spec to check the spec yeah, it is showing a3p now in a forward direction you should create the wall and the available wall between this is a there is a gate wall available we will select this type 100 mm spool is given to it and there is no clearance between this uh, ground level and this wall so we should add one elbow again it is showing 100 mm spacing Hundred mm of spool is given to this uh, wall. This uh, as there is no spacing between the ground and this uh, drain, we require minimum hundred mm of uh, ground clearance so for doing this we will simply create one elbow by in a forward direction by being on the branch simply create 90 degree and it is going down like this we'll rotate uh, as this is our access way in this direction we will create the drain now we will next connect next connect the wall so we will give the command force connect and we will give the 100 mm of spool and we will set the tail to this last member and apply you can save your work by typing this command save work and uncl all is for unclaiming all the work that you are, you are on you are doing uh, i hope you like this video and uh, i hope your query has been resolved thanks for watching